Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round three of five here tonight at Nerd Rage Gaming FNM. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, as always, my co-host, Matt Dow. Matt, who do we got today? We have the enemy on camera. Oh, jeez. Assault High Control. There it is. Uh, playing against the other enemy, Red White Aggro. <laughs> so so both, are, both are enemies here, oh, yeah, huh? Definitely. Uh, Red White Aggro, a little more entertaining than Assault High Control, but... Mm -hmm. Still the enemy, because I think it's uh, Heroic's best matchup. Okay, so. sure thing. Or worst matchup, I should say. But we do have uh, SCG Top 8, Mr. Alex Pressigan. Yeah. On the feature match area tonight. Sometimes you get lucky. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so you think it was luck, huh? <laughs> no, I think he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I think his deck was actually pretty sweet. So I'll I think he's running it back here. I'll tell you what, he's definitely latched onto this red-white aggro plan in, in his... Played it and tested it consistently now for probably, what, the past month almost, yeah, right? Yeah, which I think is huge uh, and something people should do more often. Mm -hmm. It's like if you don't have success with a deck, but you like it's like your play style, sure. just continue to play it, especially if people are like putting up good results with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I don't think the deck is bad. You just need to learn to play it. You only get better at playing decks by continuing to play them. He He's definitely taken the approach, too, where I know he doesn't change it drastically he makes small tweaks here and there as the meta begins to shift and and i think just like you said that's where he really pays off you know what i mean uh, sticking with the deck is one of the best things you can do in standard yeah for sure i think it's sticking with the deck is the best thing to do in pretty much most, most formats situations, unless you're like some brad nelson or whatever and sure. you just like can metagame like a fiend and find some deck that just crushes the majority of the meta every week mm -hmm. so well, both players going to kick it off. Uh, Alan's going to ship that one back. Alex Press is going uh, to snap keep that one. So, brought his girlfriend along. Uh, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, she decided to. Uh, I know I actually put together two uh, trial decks for them to play. Alex taught her how to play, and I built a blue red deck. I think you saw some of the matches where uh, <laughs> they uh, they got played. <laughs> <laughs> so did like he, he did you build like a deck of standard cards? Uh, it was a deck of like standard bulk commons, uncommons, and then just like an intro deck, I included two rares. Okay, yeah, I tried to teach people to play with those decks. Yes, like, you need to teach them with like the super basic decks that are designed. These were pretty basic. They what I did do is I made sure to uncover uh, encompass all of the new the new abilities and things like that. Yeah, that but, always just confused people whenever yeah. I tried to teach them abilities. So. Two Skylands here to kick it off. Standard's finest. That's it. So Another Skyland. Alan snap keeps that one on top. Probably looking for some action. Got a few lands in his hand. There's an evolving wilds. So Snorfest here. How do you how do you feel about this matchup in general? I I I personally like Alex behind I, I guess with the red white list. I think this is actually a pretty good matchup for Sultai. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, like Crux of Fate is nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have too many answers for Storm Breath Dragon, although actually this deck has way more than uh, your like blue black control because you can play sure. Sultai Charm and stuff to kill it. So yeah, I like I like the control deck uh, in this matchup. I think especially Alex's build because he's playing quite a few three drops, mm -hmm. so he's not uh, as aggressive. It's the other ones, as the other decks, and here is going to be one of those three drops. So, a Rabble Master, which will get to get some value and make a token. <clears throat> going to attack Ashiok down to four, which is always kind of weird. People like to attack that card. It, it like moss to a flame. Yeah. They they swing into it a ton. It kind of makes sense though when your opponent has a monastery mentor under it and is playing a deck full of spells. Mm -hmm. Very true. So, we'll see what Alan is gonna play here. It looks like he has a whisper wood elemental in his deck, I think, which seems weird, but maybe I'm seeing that wrong. So he is gonna play the monastery mentor, and then uh, play a Corsair of Crufix. Odd that he decided to play the Skyland before playing his Corsair of Crufix. Uh, I think the correct sequencing there is to play the Corsair and then play the land off the top, since he essentially just wasted a Scry there. Sure. So, small misstep, but 
Uh, on the Thursday that you were not here, I'm sorry, on the Friday that you were not here a while back, uh, Alan was the gentleman who, when I was referencing games, was playing uh, the uh, Whisperwood Elemental deck that me and Joe Lissette commentated on, yeah. and that was when he went bonkers with that deck. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's just his pet card? The it card's could be. sweet. It's so. very sweet. Seems kind of weird in this deck, if he is, in fact, playing it, but Alex is going to play another Monastery Mentor. Maybe he has stoked the flames up, so could uh, could stoke a courser here and produce a token. Yeah, I like that play. Yeah, it's not bad. What's the Ashiok sitting at now? He has the ability uh, to one. shoot the Ashiok too. Yeah, no. Maybe he'll maybe he's going wild slash. So he's going to kill the monastery mentor. Interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, he should get a monk token there, correct? Yeah, he should. Um, this is regular REL, so yeah. you can't miss triggers like that. Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah. So, Alan, got a plus. Mill some more stuff. Looks like he might have hit a Goblin Rail Master there. Yep. And the Change of the Rocks. Interesting. So, Alan is, in fact, playing uh, some Whisperwood Elementals, and I think some Reaper of the Wilds also. Really? Reaper? Uh, yeah, this is more like a Whip deck, I think, than a Control deck. Interesting. So it's a whip deck that also runs. That also runs. Uh, Ashiok, huh? Yeah, and I think the like Brad Nelson Reed Duke whip decks did, too. Did play an Ashiok? Yeah, but I think they might have been in the sideboard. So Alan's gonna fetch here. I imagine he's just gonna play a Whisperwood Elemental, which is a pretty good target for a Chain to the Rocks if I ever saw one. Yeah, definitely. Which Alex would be a pretty good tempo play for Alex. Caught up there, finally put out the uh, the monk token. Yep. So we got a secret away in a wild slash. Here comes Whisperwood. Yep. That's a big boy. Yeah, it's not. I thought it was a five five. Uh, I I don't know if it's it's power and toughness is essentially what makes four, it frightening. Four, yeah. yeah, but no, it, they, the fact that it's producing two twos. Yeah, that's so annoying. And they're colorless. <laughs> yeah. Man, I had to try to fight around that. Uh. Yeah. He so he has to show. Interesting. Courser. So that's kind of an, a crazy interaction that you have a courser out, so your opponent is seeing what you're putting face down. Right. So nice to be able to like say, okay, that's a creature, and now I can like, you know, I, kill it. Uh, or yeah, it makes Alex's life a lot easier to some degree. Yeah, Alex has an outpost feature, which is interesting uh, with Ashiak on the board. Although I guess not, since he doesn't reveal the top of his deck. But it's probably a card I play against this type of deck. On this turn. Okay. So he's going to attack in. Says things aren't getting any better. This seems odd to trade your Ravel Master for a free card, but uh, decided to leave the the prowess monk back as well. Yeah. He's gonna. Okay. So it looks like. Um, yeah. All right, so Alex trades a lightning strike for a rabble master, and oh, so yeah. I like Alex this play. Alex a rabble master for a lightning, a rabble master and a lightning strike for a whisperwood elemental. So that card was pretty good, uh, but Alan drawing uh, soul tide charm, I think. So rabble master really not gonna be all that great, anyways. Sure. Gonna continue to plus Ashiok. Gonna continue to hit more things. Well, I guess that's that's probably the worst part about Ashiok in this in this matchup for Alex is that he needs a lot of those cards just in general. I mean, it, this deck runs a, a very thin line of playing uh, spells and creatures uh, that kind of work together. You know what I mean? So removing those cogs is, is definitely detrimental. The yeah. fact that this monastery mentor has been alive for this long is is blowing my mind. Yeah, this been alive this long and done absolutely nothing. That's also been... I don't know why just, we didn't attack with the, the Prowess Monk last turn. Uh, yeah, that's that's a fair question, because it just gets blocked by Corsair of Crufix. It just dies. I, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, and that card's dead now, but... Okay, so... It wasn't very impressive while it was It was alive. not, unfortunately. As, as my hopes and dreams have often been put on this card, I guess Alex has another one that he can run out? Yeah. Which, sure. I mean, you might as well, because you're going to need creatures on board. I don't know. I kind of like playing... Uh, like the Outpost Siege? Outpost Siege. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to just, like, get cards, especially with this much mana. 
We have six lands in play, and I think probably another one in hand. So, yeah. I don't know. I like using all of our mana. Sure. Then this card stunk on the last board, which is the same board that we're on now. So you see kind of a dead draw on top of Alan's deck in this Ashiok. And once yeah. again, this I feel like this Ashiok has also been out way too long. Yeah, but it still is, isn't, hasn't been, like, that great. Uh, Although I guess it did eat a removal spell and mm -hmm. stoke the flames. I don't know what it killed the Corsair. Really? So, like, yeah. Monastery Mentor has been pretty bad on, like, Alex's side, and I can't imagine it's too great on uh, Alan's side either, mm -hmm. since he's playing more creatures than we thought he was. So, looks like Alex, Alan's going to minus get a Goblin Rattlemaster. All right. Card's also not very great uh, for Alan, I don't think. Just kind of a 2-2. Two -two. And there's a Reaper of the Wilds. That card is pretty good. <laughs> so why didn't we... Uh, if we're Alan, before we make our Rabble Master token and swing in, do we not play the Reaper of Wilds so we get the free scry and can ship that... Yeah, well, correct. That is bad CPC. Uh, okay. Again, but that, I, don't, I don't foresee Alex beating Reaper of the Wilds. So... He's so, going to cast a Hordling Outburst. I mean, he's got tokens. He's got tokens for days. So now this... You know what? This Outpost Siege can actually kind of come in uh, in handy here as far as, like, if he chooses to play it on the mode of dragons and wants to then start shooting things as his creatures are dying. Yeah, the only problem with that is Alan's at 22. No, I agree. <laughs> I, you're shooting You're shooting his creatures, I guess, right? Yeah. And I, I don't know. I don't, I don't see uh, Alex winning this game. Like... Yeah, he is gonna choose the. <laughs> He's gonna choose the dragon yeah. mode here. I mean, every time he suicides his creature for one damage, uh, Alan's gonna get a scry. Has an active Ashiok. Has a, yeah. So maybe we're are we trying to kill the Ashiok here? Maybe we know Al we know Alan's drawing I know, another one. I, yeah, he I know. Has one in hand though, so. I feel like this play was much better. Had Alan sequenced right? I guess I don't. I don't know. I think that would have played Outpost Siege much, much earlier than this. Mm -hmm. So Okay, so there we... So Alan's choosing not to block yeah, so these two. He 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 did uh, he did block them, I think. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, and then the redirection of the triggers is what just happened. So the Rabble Master died, and then the Ashiok died from... Uh, yeah from that redirection of that trigger. And then uh, the Ashiok took three. I believe the token from his outpost siege is the one currently beneath Monastery Mentor, the one that is not tapped, right? Correct, yeah. Well, he did He did have... He would have had two tokens there uh, because he played outpost siege and Hordling Operas there. So oh, yeah, okay, he so he is two. missing a token. Yeah. I don't know. I think Alan also forgot to scry multiple times with yeah. the Reaper of the Wild. Maybe he just chose not yeah, to. Maybe he, yeah, maybe he's just, just like, hey, Jack, man, I just <laughs> yeah. want as many of these as I can get. <laughs> so, going to play another Ashiok. Going to plus. Uh, it's going to see what? if Valerie stays. Oh, okay, it's a... So that's four cards. All right. Uh, uh, so I'll probably just shuffle that one back in. There you go. He scried once, so he should keep the scry on the bottom. They need to call a judge. In this case, that is definitely casual true. REL. Call a judge. Call a judge. Nah, whatever. It it's cool. Nah, it's We're dead right. anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we have missed. Uh, we've missed some triggers. We missed some tokens. These Ashiocs have been tearing my red white aggro deck apart. No, not really. This Reaper of the Wilds is just unbeatable for this deck, <laughs> especially the one we're not playing any Stormbreath sure. Dragons in the main deck. Sure. Yeah, I don't think we're beating this card. It's very hard. I see the draw here. I think we need a uh, faded retribution. So, let's see what else can do here. Maybe another outpost siege on cons. Just to might be able to get us back in this game. Just to allow us an extra draw. I don't like our chances though. Maybe, Maybe if we could double up outposts. Like if we had four outpost sieges in play and sure. we we're all on dragons, that would be pretty good. That'd be all right. Okay, so we're yeah, double blocking. I'll block. Uh, take two, Alan. Shoot Go to you. twenty-one. Yep. Uh, Here's another another, one. Oh, another card that hasn't been very impressive. So Alan, once again, I think he just thinks Reaper of the Wilds is a 
hexproof potential death touching uh, <laughs> four or five that doesn't get to scry. Well, right. oh. So file blight almost put that one in his hand. <laughs> oh, that corsair of crucifix. I've seen many game losses from that card. Uh, these players getting a little getting a little nervous here. A little sloppy. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be another Ashak plus. Alex yeah, not shows him a crater's claw. Yeah, not pleased here. He's just going to There you go, buddy. There's a crater's claw in your red deck. I'm okay with that though. This yeah. crater's claw is not good here either. No, I don't think so. <laughs> there's a whip of Erebus and another oh, card was just geez. not beating. <laughs> This does not look good. Uh, Alex, th 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 I'm going to say it right now. Those two Ashioks have torn apart this deck. They have they have taken so many cards from us. Yeah, we can draw Outpost Siege here. Uh, we get two to Monk Tokens, and then if we can just draw a bunch of spells off of it. And hope to, and hope to like, go bananas with the Monk yeah, Tokens. make a million Monks. And then you forget that there's still a Whip of Erebos and a 2-4 Courser and a 4-5 Reaper of the Wilds out. Yeah, so Alan continues to gain life off this Courser. Another forest on top. Got a whip. Got it all. Got a bile blight. The monastery Ouch. mentors. Jeez, what a blowout! Alex is. They need to use those giant dice uh, so they we do. can see what that Ashiak is at. Maybe we'll get an Ashiak ultimate to take out Alex's graveyard in hand. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh man. I mean, just. The Gonna chump block with the the Reaper of the Wilds. Particularly like that jump block. Probably would have just taken four. Uh, I, get in, we get into a situation where, like, so Alan chooses not to plus Ashiak. Uh, we're just right. going to scoop it up. I, all right. th I think that's a. I think that's a safe, <laughs> the safe bet right there. Yeah. Uh, I I have to say, uh, the the level of play here coming up from Alex is is definitely not. What I mean, what he's known for. I mean, he's he, he's missing triggers. It seems like he's just running through the match. I don't know if he was on tilt a little bit there. From it's possible. Maybe he just wants to go hang out with his girlfriend. I mean, that and that could be too. So but, I don't know. All right, let's hit up the sideboards. You want to do Allen's first because he's kind of playing a, what we thought was a control list, but then it's got it's got more creatures in it than yeah. than originally. Uh, he's dubbing it bug, whatever. Yeah, bug whatever. So. He's got a downfall, uh, a salt eye charm, three drown in sorrows, three dig through times, four negates, two kioras, and a pearl link agent. Uh, cards that I like here. Uh, drown in sorrows seems pretty good. Yeah, it does. Uh, sure. He's got one soul eye charm uh, and a downfall that I'd probably uh, bring in. They're pretty good against like dragons and then brimazes and uh, rabble masters if you can. Although not so great on the play, on sure. the draw, uh, they're kind of a little slow. Drawn and Sorrow, though, that can clean up Rabble Masters. Drawn and Sorrow, pretty good card. So. Do, you, do you play the Negates here also, or not? No. No, you don't even want them. No. Unless I have a bunch of bad cards in my deck. Yeah. Then maybe they're a consideration. I'm I'm probably leaving Pearl Lake each out of this also. <laughs> I don't yeah. I don't think I'm slamming that card. No, I think my Reaper of the Wilds with the Arrow playing should be good enough. It should to, be pretty good. To sure. Beat Alex. All right, Alex, sideboard. What yes, do we got? What uh, can we bring in? Two Arc Lightnings, Stormbreath okay. Dragon, two Hushwing Griffs, two End Hostilities, two Glare of Heresies, an Erase, two Elspeth Sun's Champion, two Brimaz King of Oreskos, and one Valorous Stance. I want to go big here. I think I want to take the big route. I'm not dealing with the tokens anymore. I want to play my I want to play my Brimazes. I want to play my Elspeths. Yeah, I'd probably bring in Brimaz. I'd probably bring in Elspeth. I'd probably bring in Stormbreath Dragon. We didn't see uh, any counter magic from Alan. None. <clears throat> I'd bring in an Erase. Sure. Uh, I saw the Whip. So yeah, we, we did saw Whip and Corsair, so... The race is definitely going to get some value yep. if we draw it. Mm, I'm not Glare of Heresies out. And Hostilities out. Yeah. Uh, but I do like the Storm Breath, uh, Elspeth, and Bermas. Valor Steeds, do we bring in? Try and get rid No, well, I guess we could. it's another way to clip a Corsair if we need to, but... We can clip a Corsair with it. Like, I think it's not actually bad. God, uh, Reaper of the Wilds. That yeah, card's actually not hit, bad Yeah, here. I actually think we'd probably bring in a Valor Steeds. Uh, sure. We can hit Whisperwood Elemental. Uh, like... Reaper of the Wilds if it doesn't have Hexproof. Yeah. Um, Corsair of Crufix. So, and maybe even save one of our own guys. So I'd probably bring that one in. Boy, I agree with that statement. They both need to take a deep breath before the next game. Definitely. Alex was... Uh, did he come... He won his last... He came off a win. He's 2-0. So he came into this match already on tilt? <sighs> How is that? You, gotta, you, gotta, you also have to be kind of mad, though, when, when Ashiok is... Is Ripping tearing apart your deck. deck, yeah, and you yeah. and you for some reason decide to choose not to remove her. Yeah. 
So we'll see him shuffle up here, get ready for the next round. Thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. This is, uh... This is, but a fairly good F&M some with some That's fairly bad-looking hands. Five-lander with two spells that aren't creatures? Stoke the flames in a Valor stance? I, yeah, I imagine we send that back. So. Alan decided to keep there? Yeah. I'm going to keep. He had quite a few lands, too, but... Yeah, I don't think mana weaving is illegal if you then shuffle your deck afterwards. Okay. Um, but if you just, like, mana weave as shuffling, and then, like, shuffle your deck, like, twice and pass it to your opponent, then I think that is illegal. It's considered illegal. Yeah, but I think you can mana weave uh, and then, like, quickly continue, shuffle your deck continue afterwards. Continue shuffle, sure. Yeah. It's always something you got to be... Especially now in light of a, a lot of the recent things that, you know, in the in the past few months that have come out about shuffling decks. I mean, you have to you have to be careful of that stuff. Yeah. And if I saw my opponent do it, I wouldn't just cut their deck. Correct. I would, like, sit there and probably yeah. shuffle it for them. Oh, so. yeah. So we see a Plains lead off from Alex. Yeah. But I'm not... I ain't, I ain't no judge. <laughs> so don't quote me on that. Uh, Alan's going to keep that on top. So... Yeah. No two drop for Alex again. He does have a monastery mentor, so maybe it'll be a little bit better in this game than it was last game. He does have an outpost siege, which I think is also a good card in this matchup. And there's another three drop. So here's a rabble master. Yeah, I probably run out the rabble master. I think that's just a better card than monastery mentor. Yeah, I agree with that. So, sure enough, let's get you for one. one. See, and this is where I think actually, you know what? Maybe maybe I was wrong about Alex's sideboard, and maybe we just want to be faster. Maybe we just want to kill Alan before... No, because no. he's bringing in cards like that. Sure, so that just wipe I us. I like Elspeth and Stormbreath Dreaden. So, you, yeah, you want to go big. Okay. I just want to diversify my threats. Uh, if we just don't go big, we just get absolutely destroyed by cards like Drown and Sorrow and stuff like that. So, And we didn't see any downfalls or mm -hmm. anything out of Alan in Game 1. So, there's Reaper of the Wilds. Or it's kind of a problem. Uh, hopefully we have a Chain to the Rocks or a Valorous Stance or something to kill that card. Uh, I think he does have a Valorous Stance in hand. Alright. No, he's oh, got a Soulfire. Oh, no, fire I'm sorry, that's a Soulfire. Is Outpost it? Outpost Siege, yeah. So, Reaper of the Wilds threatening to be, uh... So he's just gonna miss the trigger again. No, he's... he's do we he's, look, he's looking. No, I don't think he Maybe? is. Maybe? No, he is not. Okay. That, so that Alex, is a non-creature spell, believe it or not. Alex deciding to, once again, skip over... He's decided Triggers. to play uh, Vanilla Tutus. <laughs> I don't know if Alan is reminding him now? Yeah, he, it's casual, Ariel. Get okay, the yep. Get the trigger. So here's the monk again. Yeah. Boy. So he's going to scry. Keep it on top. <clears throat> and looks like Bioblade going to take care of the mm -hmm. Monastery Mentor. And Alan's going to get in for four and keep up Hexproof on his Reaper of the Wilds. So, Alex going to get an extra card off cons. Going to be another Oppo Siege. Jeez. I don't think it's bad, like... This will be the Elspeth? There yeah, he's so going to play an Elspeth. I think we just minus here. I think that's a safe bet. Uh, yeah. Although, th there is, like, a consideration if we just plus. But if Alan downfalls, then it's just awful. Mm -hmm. So... And there's a Silumgar, so... Yeah, that card's pretty good. That's not in his side. <laughs> that's in his main deck. <laughs> Holy so, well, cow! That's a blank. Oh, jeez! So everything we've hoped and dreamed for is now gone, right? Yeah, and, and it, oh, Alan, Alex misses the trigger on on that card again on uh, outpost siege. On outpost yeah, siege, so missed the uh, yeah. What is going on tonight? I don't know. Is he? Is this just? Got his girlfriend watching him or something? I don't is know. he nervous? I mean, you you have to remember this man. This man. Hoppy did an SCG Regionals just recently. He did. We've got a slew of tokens there, all representing 1-1 one -one soldiers from Elspeth. Yeah, all cards that are about to die to Silumgar. S to Silumgar, the uh, drifting pug. Yeah. And Alex is going to continue to play 2-2s. Two that hopefully will not die. Yeah. Oh. So how do we kill Silumgar? <laughs> uh, the answer is we don't. Yeah. yeah. Hostilities out of the board is the only way he has to kill it. Yeah, very true. There's a Whisperwood Elemental. So, and there is a dead Elspeth and a bunch of dead tokens. Bye, tokens. 
Even the monk token gets killed. I don't understand not running. We have a seeker of the way. Why are we not playing it? What are we bluffing? I, I'm not sure. Hey, there's a 4 4. This Whisperwood Elemental is going to cause some problems. Yeah, alright. So we get free 2 twos. You are now drawing 2 twos. Alright, there's a Sarkin. Alright, okay. Now, now we're getting somewhere. Sarkin allows us to remove. Whisperwood Elemental? Uh, yeah, and then die, and then yeah. die to Selimgar so the Drifting on, Pug. And this, like, deck. I don't think is going to be all that great at coming back from being behind, this far behind on board. Uh, Alan played Whisperwood Elemental for his last play. Uh, it's the 4-4. Four, four. That at the end of his turn, he manifests the top card of his library. Yeah. So free Grizzly Bears is always sweet. Grizzly Bears with upside. Grizzly Bears with upside. So we'll see what Alan, Alex chooses to do here. I don't think we have any anything that's very good here. I, if we minus, we die to, dies to Silumgar, so we essentially just have a removal spell. If sure. I just, just remove him. So we're just going to get in for five? Yeah, because here we're just going to lose cards anyways. Get in for four. I'm sorry, four, yeah, correct. But, He's down to five, five. Yeah. Um, now to protect our Sarkin, we have to lose cards. We have to jump. Double jump, in fact. Well, we get a trade with a token, but he's just going to get another one, so. Alan draws a Bioblight. Uh, Alex looking pretty dead. Boy. Even uh, Outpost Siege on Khans can't save you now. Yeah, not. I mean, not when you're not using its ability and Correct, yeah. exiling yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I agree with you. It, that's. Bioblight that. on Soulfire, Grandmaster. Bye. Here comes the team. Yeah. Minus one, minus one of your Seeker, the way. Correct. Uh, I. Oh man, yeah, yeah, that's right. You don't even have to like. Correct. Yeah, Silumgar doing work. So not blocking. Doesn't even get a trade with the manifest. Yuck. Oh, there's, there's an Ash. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> this deck has everything. <laughs> he's he's playing every card. I love it. <laughs> Silumgar main board. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Take that, Nelspeth. Yeah. I mean, right. Yeah. There we go. All right, remember so you're, the trigger. remember that time. It's what a land. How many lands have we got in play? Eight? We've got a oh, lot. Oh, man. we got Crater Claws in our deck. Can we we're still alive, oh. baby! <laughs> we're, do, we're in this! What can we do here? Oh, okay, so we're playing right. a land. We're tapping two. Do we have a Storm Breath Dragon? What do we oh, play two? No. Oh. Kill Whisper went out. Okay, all that's right. all right. Get in there. Attack for three. Yeah. Block? No, you no can't block. take this damage. Oh, he's going to go to 11. Oh, okay, maybe at 12? No, he should be at 11. He should be at 11. Oh, Correct. man. <laughs> we're, we're, we're this is there. it. Can we? The question is, can we beat Silumgar? Uh, maybe we might be able to race him. Is there? An, there's not a green black dragon. Okay, so he can't like morph this into another dragon that is somehow. Yeah, no, there's not a green black. Okay, dragon. he could morph this into like another Whisperwood Elemental that he's going to attack with the team. Yep. Put him to nine. Jeez. Do we just win if he doesn't play a creature so we just draw Crater's Claws off the top? <laughs> uh, oh, the answer is no. Reaper of the Wilds. Oh, man. Come on. I really wanted to see a Crater's Claws off the top to kill you. That would have been sweet. Uh oh, double stone. No! Oh, that's fine. He's, he's taking everything. That's fine. We're still drawing a Crater's Claws. Oh, Hush, Hush Wing Griff. Griff. Why did that come in? It's like a flash guy. Okay. Plays around sorcery speed removal. Dead to Silumgar? <laughs> Dead to Silumgar, yeah. I'll no! Cast, I'll pay three mana to cast this card and it'll immediately oh, no. die. Oh, Why? God, Stormbreath Dragon. But what did it come in for? Oh, I don't know. Is this Stormbreath? Storm Sarkin. No, it's Sarkin. Oh, oh. but we can't kill... Once again, Silumgar, the, the drifting pug. Don't worry, man. We're still good. We're still in this. Attack with Sarkin. What can we do here? Put him to seven and then top deck Critter's Claws and kill him. God, it'd be so good. Yep, put you to seven. All right, Alan, gonna go to seven. We also are, have the out of like two uh, stoke the flames and a lightning strike now. Our stoke the flames got taken. We we've Whatever. only got two more. That's fine. Two is more than zero. Uh, so Silumgar gonna just effectively remove <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> remove blockers. So. Oh boy, what if there's a Sagu Mauler here? Ooh, that would be a spicy one. <laughs>
I imagine if there was a Sagumala, it would have been unmorphed last turn. No. You don't... Oh, God. No Sarkin. Uh, attacking Sarkin, too. Not... And then... That's... Dude, as risky as all get out. Because, like, now the Seeker of Way can attack. Wait. How did... <laughs> <laughs> did we do it? <laughs> He's got it. I still... <laughs> How did we get up to 15? <laughs> How are we... I don't know. I can't imagine that life total is right. I can't imagine that's right either. There's no... Put, it, put you to five. Oh, I think no. we're going to cast end hostilities here. Uh, we got to. Oh, yeah. Is this it? Th this this game is insane. <laughs> not not the Drifty D. There we go. Oh. There's our out. Wait. Uh, no. Alex. Do we have another creature? Yeah, we do. We have a Ramble Master? Oh, oh no way. <laughs> oh, this match suddenly took just the craziest turn. I didn't. I didn't think it was possible for uh, outpost siege to get us out of this one, but it looks like we might actually get out of this. Okay, so, so Ashiak's gonna minus, gonna minus and put monastery. in a monastery mentor. Okay. All right. Hold on. Ship it back. Crater's claws. One time me. Oh man, it would be so. Did great. he took it off? He didn't take it out of the deck, did he? He probably boarded it out. Gonna play the mountain. Let's see. Is this another yes. Rabble Master? It yeah. is. Oh, jeez. Yep. Both of those Rabble... The Rabble Master has to attack BT Dubs. Okay, he's, he's, got, he's it. got it. He's gonna chump this Rabble Master, I imagine. Take two. He's got to. Alan's staring at a land in his hand. Yep, alright. <clears throat> Going to three. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Gotta draw a good one. Uh, the Soul Tide Charm it keeps him alive a turn. No way. Don't even. If that's what it comes down to, he can still minus Ashiok to produce creatures. Yeah, he he. Had, but he's deciding to go up. He used uh, uh, Ashiok's minus ability last turn to get that monastery mentor. To put the monastery mentor out. Yeah, correct. So he plus this turn and hit nothing. But he's got to use that Sol uh, Soltai charm to kill his rebel master, or else he's just gonna die. Crazy claws me, uh, just, or lighten or something. I need. <laughs> I mean, like, what? He has so many outs now. Hit the one time. Oh come on. Chain to the Rocks? That's not not doing out. it. What is this? What did we draw? Another Chain to the Rocks. Just get out of here. Alan, so, figure out his Alan, mana for Soul yeah, right. Not going to let him go. Uh, yeah. So, attack you to one. And then pass the turn back. No way. Alan? I, I, I cannot believe. He's a Drown in Sorrow, a Bile Blight, and then uh, Alex to Brick Off for multiple <laughs> turns in a row. <laughs> All the mana! Tap five. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, that that's do good. It. He needs to Ashiok here, though, too. Okay. Yeah, he chooses not to Decided Ashiok. not to Ashiok. I would have taken a creature. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would minus to take a creature. Okay, so, nope. We're gonna go up. Alright, maybe he's stoke. on the mill plan. Oh, another... Oh, I think Alex has a chain to the... No, he has a... He has a Hordling Outburst and yeah. a chain in hand, correct? Yeah, I think he has a chain. No, just a scry line. So he's gonna scry. He has to remember this. Yeah. Alan waiting patiently with oh, clutch fist, <laughs> <laughs> wiping the sweat from the brow. This is close. Yeah. I can't believe he's crawled back out of this one. No. Oh, he's not there yet, man. Like he's at one. I hope. I hope there's a sagu molar. <laughs> I want to just. It doesn't do anything right now. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got trample. I mean, if we're at, actually at fifteen, then like it's just not that great. What if he flips another Silumgar? <laughs> Even that's not even good. He has to attack with it. And, like, right now he's just dead on board. So oh, Here we go with Ashiok again. Gotta have another... Oh, mountain uh, chain mountain. Yeah, right, a bunch of garbage. Come on! He didn't take out... Uh, he totally has a pile blade in his hand. What? Oh, he got... Oh. Okay, so he got there with they the goblins. that he's got nothing. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was intense. I cannot believe that. Okay, so... What did we learn there? Uh, I'll put Siege is really good. I'll put Siege remember his triggers. Yes. Ashiok... Actively bad, like didn't do anything. I don't think so, cause there were there were what nah, two turns bad. or one turn Get where Alan messed up. He, what are you talking? He had like he had creatures he could have taken. Yeah, I guess I don't know. I just don't like that card. His board state first of all was huge. I I don't know how he didn't first. I don't know what happened with with Alex's life total there. That was really strange. He was he, I thought he was at nine. They had him at 15, so maybe we were missing lifelink triggers and the, the dice just wasn't getting updated, but... Uh, yeah, so wait, when Alex end hostilities, didn't Alan have, like, a Soul Tie, uh, Reaper of the Wilds, Whisperwood Elemental, and some Manifest Tokens out? I believe so, yes. Or did the 
mana, the Whisperwood Elemental get Valor Stance. Either way, if he had the Whisperwood Elemental out, he could have made more Manifest Tokens with the ability. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know. So I'm going to probably take out my uh, Elspeths in this matchup, since uh, Alan has main deck Silumgars. One of Silumgars? Uh, Hushwing Griff, also a pile of garbage. Those are coming out. Mm -hmm. But, Brimaz, you're still here. Erase. Come on. And Hostilities was good. I'm keeping it. And Hostilities it. was a one... Yeah, I'd yeah. keep that. Do we have any more Burn? We have Arc Lightning. We have Arc Lightning. I don't even know, but that's so narrow. That's super narrow if I'm bringing Arc Lightning. It doesn't do anything lightning. either. Like, it doesn't kill any creatures. It's only going to be a three mana burn you. Yeah. So. I just saw Alan looking at the uh, dismantling strokes in his sideboard, uh, which I can't imagine he'd actually want to bring those in because, once again, it's such a super narrow card. Like, what are... What, so, he's going to bring it in to stop the one-end hostilities we saw and maybe a Sarkin? Yeah. Stormbreath Dragon. Oh, which true. you got to imagine is in this deck. So... Yeah, I don't know. That was an entertaining game. It wasn't the best played game I've ever seen, but no, it was, it was surely pretty entertaining. It was super sloppy. Did it, did it Very imagine sloppy. Alex uh, coming out of that one? I, I cannot believe that Outpost Siege got him there. I mean, that the is good. No, dude. I know. I know it's super good. I'm not arguing that it's not good. I just can't. Like, Alan's board was nuts. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Silumgar, Wistward Elemental. Two unflipped cards, a Reaper of the Wilds, an active Ashiok. Like, I, I don't know. I just Alan trying to steal Alex's twenty-three dollar <laughs> card. <laughs> Nicely gives it back. We are we're on to game three. They've got ten minutes left here, so yeah, let's hope they insane. reset life totals for us. Thanks for tuning in tonight, by the way, guys. This is round three of five of F and M here at Nerd Rage Gaming. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me as always, Matt Tim. Dow. Oh, I thought oh. it was Tim for a second. Well, you're gonna be <laughs> your name hasn't changed. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Make sure you guys definitely click that subscribe button. Or the follow button, I should say. Not even subscribe. You can just follow us. Yeah. So. I mean, that, that board state. I. Yeah, the, it's pretty crazy. But, once again, Alec, Alex was drawing two cards a turn. Alan he was. was not. Yeah, he was digging. So. He was digging more. I agree. I mean, I don't think you're wrong. <clears throat> Jeez. So this th this was going back to what I was talking about earlier. Alan, when when I was casting with Joel, I said Alan was the guy who was playing the blue green Whisperwood Elemental deck. Yeah. And he had the triple Whisperwood Elementals to make three two twos a turn, and he killed his opponent because one of his cards that he uh, he flipped was. Uh, <laughs> Kiru's spell snatcher. This was this was that game that I talked about at the regionals. Yeah. <laughs> and the Kiru spell, and just like you said, if you flip it for four, you're you're fine because yes. you're you're countering a spell, getting the card, and if you flip that card in a game of constructed magic, it is ridiculous. If you flip that card ever <laughs> at all and ever counter like a spell that doesn't cast it off, sure. like one mana, it's just yeah. bonkers. Oh, and then you keep it and you can cast it whatever you want after that. Yeah. As long as obviously you're meeting the, uh, the uh, the requirements. No, I think you get to cast it like regardless of its uh, mana cost. You no, I know you get, but you have to. I still believe follow. Like if it's sorcery, you can only cast it on yeah, sorcery. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. So just, you have to follow its spell type. <laughs> yeah, it's not just like cast this card whenever you please. That would be sweet though. So, also be would be sweet would be this game starting. Uh, they're shuffling up. We had a lengthy sideboard period. I think there was a small discussion there on whether or not they actually wanted to go to game three or just chuck their cards at each other. Yeah, uh, see see which one would get knocked out first from throwing their decks at each other. Hopefully we can get the life dice reset out there to uh, make yeah. it easier on us. That would be beautiful. So, Alan, looks like he's going to keep his hand. Uh, lead with a forest. Alex also going to keep his hand. I'm going to lead with a Temple of Triumph uh, and keep that one on top. Ship it back. Now I'm going to draw another Forest for the turn. I imagine play a Sylvan Karyatid after fetching off Polluted Delta. So he's got Karyatids too. Yeah, that's a weird Alan, deck, man. Yeah, Alan's deck has everything. This is like a soul time mid range deck. Do not let the control name fool you. We yeah. thought it was control at first, but then we, we were past a note uh, that... When you look at his sideboard, he's got a bunch of control cards. Well, that's what... No, I know. That's why... You know what? We'll just update it yeah. so that we have correct information for viewers because that has just been... There, There's a... Okay, there's, a there's the life I reset. Yep, Alan going to be at 19. Alex at 20. Untap. Kept the Rebel Master on top. 
Plays in Evolving Wilds and ships the turn back. I know you love that Evolving Wilds. Mm -hmm. You're a big fan of that card. Not really, but... No? You don't like that? No, not really. <laughs> it's fine in this deck, actually, but... Because you need this, like, mountains are so important. Uh, and it's a fetch land for a mountain. Can we... Can we see a turn here for Kiora? That'd be kind of sweet. That would be. Deck? I'd like a Kiora here. It would just die to... Well, we can't even cast Lightning Strike. Curse you, Evolving Wilds. <laughs> and have <being> a <laughs> fetch land. Oh, darn it, I can find my one tap mountain that I need. Yeah. So we'll see what Alan can play here. Ash Ashiok. Jeez! Is this Ashiok on board all yeah, the time? It is. He's probably playing four of them. I mean, it looks like he hit a bunch of garbage. So not, No creatures there. So we'll go find our mountain? Yeah. He does have Drawn and Sorrow in hand, though. So Hel uh, Alex's, like, three drops aren't going to be all that great. Unless, well, unless it's Brimaz, Cat King. Cat King, which will be swiftly removed by Soul Touch Arm. Yeah. Our <laughs> hero's downfall. <laughs> right. But still. Thanks, Brimaz. Yeah. He needs a Caracas. Way to not be devout like Caster. Yeah. Snap that one off from your knowledge. Yeah. Not happening. <laughs> uh, there's a Here we go. There's a Rebel Master. Rebel. Rebel, 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 rebel. Block. Cool. Pass it back. Hey, at least our token lived for a turn. Yeah. Right, I'm only going to play a, a forest. Imagine plus this uh, Ashiok. It's kind of the weird thing about it. I guess a the Hushwing, Hushwing Griff stayed in. Jeez, you can't even flash that thing in. Why are we keeping the Hushwing Griff in this matchup? I don't know. Why are we reverted back to using a D20 to keep track of this Ashiok? I'm not sure. Now I have to remember what it's at. I think it's at 7. But this is... This is a Drown in Sorrow. Well, it might be. Now, Alan, wondering if he can cast that and then this Tassiger in his hand? No, I don't believe he can. He's just, no, just going to pass just... it back. He's like, cool, man, you got a Rabble Master. Uh, I so, can kill that card. Is he then... on the back of Sultai Charm here? Is that what he wants? Yeah, he's probably just... He's uh, either getting trying to get Alex to commit more things to the board, or mm -hmm. he's just going to... Uh, if Alex doesn't just going to probably kill this Realm Master. I'm actually okay with that somewhat, because it looks yeah. like Alex is just going to take get the, there. Yeah, because Alex is just going to take the Although, like, what? now I don't like this. Like, I, you have Drown and Sorrow in your hand. I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll lose the cards and then, like, absolutely annihilate you. So, uh, Alan down to 18 after the Realm Master attack. 17? Yeah. Did he choose not to block with the carry? Did? Uh, I guess not. Maybe fearing... I don't know. There are no cards to fear. Or did he no, take Titan a, Strength? Probably he may have, Titan well, Strength. No, he may have taken a pain from the land. It's hard to tell if he took a pain from when he cast Salt Touch Arm. Yeah, that's fair. Pain lands. They make, uh, the, pain, pain. the pain lands in Urborg make everything much more complicated when you're trying to cast this game. Yeah. So. I'm only going to plus Ashiak I, I, again, I imagine. Sure Here enough, let's go. see if he hits any good ones. Slow rolling us. Ooh, Monastery uh, Mentor in two lands. So we have Tassiger, Drown and Sorrow, and Heroes Downfall in hand, so pretty decent hand. I'd take it. Yeah, it's a good hand. I'd take it against Rabble Here Master. you go. Alright, there's the Drown and Sorrow. Scoop those guys up. Man, Titan Strength there would have been great. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> could have gotten in for some extra damage. Well, could have protected our Rabble Master. That's also true. And here's a Tassiger. Tassie Town. That's a pretty decent card. But what did he leave himself with in his graveyard? Just a, uh, just a polluted, polluted delta. delta? Oh, Stormbreath Dragon gonna come in here. Gonna probably attack this Ashiok, which is... Nope. Ignoring Ashiok, which is now at 9, I believe. Oh, jeez. Threatens, uh, threatens the exile. It does, yeah. That's gonna be a beating when we have a billion cards in our hand. I don't think it's... Well, I guess now it can get this far since Alan does have a removal spell, but he is going to choose to minus and uh, cast a Monastery Mentor with a Hero's Downfall in hand. So That's pretty decent. Let's start, some some value off yeah, start making some Monk Tokens. Maybe not, though. <laughs> Trying to... Uh... In attack first. Alright, gotta get in. Put him in 16. Got a Whisperwood Elemental in our hands, too. Do we slam Ooh, it? No, we're playing around Drown and Sorrow. <laughs> we're not being uh, end hostilities here. Although, <laughs> that, that card... But remember, if he plays the Whisperwood yeah. Elemental, he could just sack it and make a bunch of tutus. Yeah, man, we just want to kill this dragon. Alex is going to scry and keep a Temple of Triumph on top. That's we're going to cast the Sarkin. Oh, yikes. For... So, I imagine this Stormbath's going to die. Okay. Sure enough. There, uh, Alan's got the... 
Yeah, I don't remember that trigger. Yes, he does. He snapped that right up. So I imagine if we cast a circle, we're just going to try to dome him. Put you to put you to eight. Dropping to eight. So he's got a. Jeez, this red white deck is crazy. Like dragons, just so good. It's true. Yeah. Not only that, I think Alex has a stoke in hand. Yeah, he does. So. Uh, I mean, I imagine the Sarkin's going to die. To what? To Tassiger, Monastery Mentor, Token. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. yeah, 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 I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you just... So. Sometimes I forget this can be an aggro... What? Yeah, alright. Okay, there we go. I imagine Alex is going to go to 14. Then we're going to play a... There's the Whisper Wind. So now he's, now he's protected from the uh, end hostilities. He is. So, Alex is going to draw. Going to... Be another Temple of Triumph. Gonna scry. Gonna snap that that one off on top. That's not good for Alan. Being at a multiple of four is not <laughs> not yeah. a good sign against this deck, especially when they snap cards off. So what do we've got? So we've got there's another Sarkin. Oh jeez. Gonna put him to four. Oh no. Oh, are we dead on the? Crack is this back? it? No. It depends what the card four, on the Whisper eight. Elemental is. 11, 12, uh, potentially 15, could be. 14. Oh, he could be. If there's a spell to pump. Yeah, I forgot that Ashiok screws up the keep on top, so it's a stoke. Oh. Uh, which is unfortunate for Alex, but I think he has another stoke in hand. I was about to say, doesn't he still have a stoke in hand, or does yeah. he have Valor stand something else? Now, let's see. If Alan has one spell, he gets to attack for 3, Four, 5, 9, exactly. 15, 15. He gets to attack 15? for 15, I think. Did I count? He has oh, one Monastery spell. Mentor 2-2? Two, two? Yeah. Yeah. One spell does it. Slam it. Plays of the land. Slam it. Uh, gonna cast. What are we flipping? Are we flipping something? Or are we? What? I don't. I don't know what this is. What are we doing? Oh, he's tassigering. Oh, okay. All right. Alex gonna give him a Reaper of the Wild. Sure. Looks like Alan doesn't have a spell, and I think is just gonna die to a stoke the flame. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, nice board. Forty-five seconds left. Is this what's? Come on. Yep. Oh. How much, what does he have? Open. He can't even like fire off a counter spell. Nope. A pump. He could. He could have a disdainful stroke in hand. You never know. That would be good. He's gonna show him to stoke the flames. Alan's gonna slam his cards in disgust. Shake the hands, baby. There the you go. Hand, so. Holy cow. Yeah. All right. First and foremost, we gotta we gotta discuss some sloppy play. Right. Is that what we're talking about right now? No. I, actually, I think we're gonna talk about how bad Ashiak is. Really? You want to touch on that It was first? awful in okay. that game. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm not... I, like I said, I would have rather seen a Kiora come down than I, an Ashiok, but... I don't know. Yeah, probably. To be fair, Ashiok was in all of those games. Yeah, and was bad in all of them. Correct. Except for game one. Very true. You're, you're not wrong. Uh, so we see Alex's sideboard of End Hostilities, Storm Breath, Erase, Hushwing, Hushwing... I think Griff is duty in this matchup too. I think that card's terrible. I I don't think the card's good in this matchup. I guess yeah, I should say that right. was entertaining. I had fun. It might have been sloppy, but it was fun. It was sloppy, but it was fun. I mean, you gotta you gotta admit uh, it was it was definitely sloppy. But yeah, but I had fun. It, it was an okay match. I it was a great match. We had like a comeback out of nowhere where he had no cards. Game two was the comeback. Yeah, that we was had, okay. We had like a if you have a spell, I'm just dead. And yep. If you don't, you're just dead. Correct. That was. That was everything I wanted in a magic match. Okay. Uh, I, I like the fact excitement. that we, yep. terrible play. Yep. <laughs> I, I like the fact that we got to see a ton of cards from Alan's deck. Like every there were there were from everybody's deck. Yeah, there were Reaper of the Wilds, there were Sylvan Kiridids, there were Ashioks, there were Whisperwood Elementals. I mean that deck had there was a Silumgar that came out of first of all came out of nowhere to murder an Elspeth. Yeah. I mean just destroy an Elspeth. That was well, that, an entertaining game of Magic. For that sure. was, yeah, definitely. That was an exciting round three. So we've got two more rounds left uh, in this five rounder. Uh, I, I guess we should also give a shout out to uh, the other guys who will be streaming this upcoming week. The rest of uh, Team NRG. Sure. We've got Joe Lissette coming up on Monday. Uh, that smile. I know, dude. So what a nice guy. Noah Cohen on Wednesday. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's. It looks like he's glaring a little bit, but he he could also be saying, "Can you beat this?" I think this is like. Uh, he's staring down his when they played Blood Moon out of Elves or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that happened. That he's definitely. Like, yeah. Are you kidding me? And then on uh, and then on Thursday we've got uh, I'm Grump but not so Grump Matt Hoey. Yep, Ian Muggin. 
Yeah, dude. B-boy Stanson. Big, big carry last time. Six-hour stream last time. So if you want to tune in for some uh, for some great streaming action, make sure you guys follow us here on Twitch. We'll be back shortly with uh, round four. Round four.